All right, well, we're at Jump Ship 2012. Cody's design, I have in front of me here. We're gonna see what this thing looks like on a bike. Well, we have got, Mike already uh, got the, the cutter out, cut Cody's, the new, uh, the new seat post down and uh, it's installed on the bike. How do you feel about riding it in competition? Looks solid, I mean, the straight line guys always make top notch stuff and this is no exception, you know? And it, it also helped that the design that they received was also top notch as well. Amazing idea and we'll definitely put it through the test today. All right, well, we're here in Sydney, BC going to meet up with the SME editor at the ME Media Magazine and we're going to see Cody's part getting made. Awesome vistas around us. Clearly understand when you see all the mountains around why mountain biking is such a popular sport here in BC. All right, well, we're back at Straight Line Components and this is Tim Fausch with ME Magazine. Yes, uh, Society of Manufacturing Engineers. We produce manufacturing engineering media. Absolutely. Well, it's Cody, the winner, is a student member of SME he is. and so I thought it would be an interesting thing to bring you out because I know this is not the first thing that Cody's been involved with so I thought I'd let you expand on that a little bit. Sure, Cody is a, a, a member of the uh, Chico campus of uh, Cal State University Yep. and earlier this year that team won the grand prize uh, at the West Tech Manufacturing Challenge. Right. It's not a complicated design that he came up with but it really solved a problem Absolutely, we saw a little glimpse of that yesterday at the uh, jump ship competition. Uh, when these bikes were, were dropping almost 30 feet, you realize just how, how creative the solutions have to be. Uh, not only do they have to be reliable, but they have to be durable, and we, we saw that. Well, crazy. I mean, Mike, uh, Mike took some serious spills on that, uh, that course yesterday, and of course, Cody's part was on the bike. But uh, let's, let's, uh, let's take a walk into straight line, and we'll see how this part's actually made. Sounds good. We've got received the um, the design entry from from Cody, and there's one main thing that we noticed uh, right away that was a problem, and that's this uh, this beam here was drawn smaller than it really is. Okay. In real life, it would cause the thing to wedge apart, not clamp all the way together. Oh, I see. So, I see. so it wouldn't be full yeah. full square, ninety that's, degree that's pressure. That's right. When when this thing clamps up, it needs to be at at ninety degrees because this. This cradle has to be able to sit sure. properly on that surface. So yeah. like, pretty minor though in the grand design yeah, scheme was, of things. It was very minor. Yeah, yeah. very minor. So um, you're in Mastercam right now. Yes. And um, so basically, so, basically you can start with a chunk. You can actually yeah. see your see your tool move. Yes, exactly. And then you import your solid model, which would be the green part here. That's Cody's part. And then you apply cutter paths to that in Mastercam. And once that's done, you generate your your G code and download it into the CNC machine and that's when if everything's been done correctly on the CAM software then the machine will cut the part exactly as it shows on the screen in, in Mastercam. In Cody's situation they're using aluminum. I want to Dennis to talk to us a little about how, how do you select uh, which aluminum you're going to use? Uh, we chose in this case to use 6061 because it's a pretty good general purpose grade of material. All right well let's get this thing cut up and get, sure. get making it. Okay. All right, so we got a piece of material, we've got a program, now we just got to get the tooling and the machine, and we're, uh, we're ready to make a part. When you remove material, uh, there's, there's two forms, milling and drilling. Yep. Yeah. In this case, we're focused mostly on, on the milling side of it. Yeah, this part is all milling tools. Uh, this is kind of a typical example of a milling tool. It's called an end mill. Uh, that's because it can cut on the end and the size so he's got the cam file in the machine. It's mapping out what it's going to cut. He's got the material clamped in, and he's got the tools all picked out. So we're pretty much ready to cut apart here. Yeah, it's amazing. You stick a solid chunk of aluminum and it out comes almost a completely finished part. It's pretty cool. In many ways it's simple design and yet 
it's Very not simple. always uh, not always the complicated one that's going to make the uh, make a product successful. No, have so. some. It's, it's a pretty slick, clean design. I like it. Well, thanks, Cody, for all your work. Looking uh, looking forward to seeing this thing hit the market at some point. And uh, congratulations on the win. That's a wrap.